Hi DIYers, this is Michael from AlarmGrid, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a Honeywell 7847i, 7847i to a Vista Turbo Series panel. Now the Honeywell 7847i, um, that's an IP only communicator uh, for Vista security systems. Um, it gets um, a network connection through a wired ethernet connection. Um, but we'll talk more about how you can convert it into a wireless connection for use with Wi-Fi later. But um, it only does IP um, monitoring, uh, so you won't get any cellular backup. So if there's an internet outage, um, if a power outage takes your internet offline, then your panel will be unmonitored and you won't have another path to go with. Um, there are uh, dual path communicators that use both uh, cellular and IP, or you might just go with a cell only communicator which is a little bit more reliable than IP only. Um, but uh, the advantage to going IP only is that um, it allows for low cost monitoring. Uh, you can pay for an IP only plan, and these plans are considerably less expensive since uh, you don't need to pay for cellular uh, network charges. Um, so a lot of people prefer these to save money. Um, but we have our uh, 7847i over here, and it uses a four wire connection with um, the Vista turbo panel. In our case, we have a Vista 128 BBT. Um, this uh, draws power from the panel. It doesn't use its own transformer. It doesn't have its own back battery. It gets all its power from the panel. And it draws uh, 75 milliamps of current maximum. So uh, make sure to calculate that into the, the current draw. Uh, make sure to calculate that. Um, if you find that you're running low on provided current, uh, you will need to add a, a power supply or something to provide power to all the equipment that the panel uh, provides for. Um, and just uh, one thing to keep in mind, uh, the 128 BBT, um, all versions of it can do Total Connect 2.0. Uh, but if you have a Vista 250 BBT, you need a uh, version 10.3 or higher. Uh, you can do that by looking at the PROM chip for the panel. Um, we removed our me metal cover, actually, um, so that way we could see ours. But this is a 128, so it's fine. All versions can do Total Connect, which you'll want if you want to control your panel remotely. Um, so with all that out of the way, um, let me show you the wiring and um, we'll show you what each wire means and where it's going to go on the communicator and on the panel. Okay, so like I said, uh, the Honeywell 7847i uses a four wire connection with the, with the Vista panel, with the Vista turbo panels. Um, so it uses uh, two wires for power and two wires for communication. Uh, so first we have the red wire here, and this is for positive power, and this goes to panel terminal six and communicator terminal three. Uh, the black wire is the ground connection or negative power. It goes to panel terminal seven and communicator terminal four. And then uh, we have the yellow, or in our case, uh, the white wire. And this goes to panel terminal nine and communicator terminal five. And this is for data communication uh, to the communicator. So it's the panel speaking to the communicator. And then lastly, we have our green wire which goes to panel terminal eight and communicator terminal six. And this is for uh, communication to the panel. So it's communication from the 7847i to the panel. So now that we know what each wire does, uh, let's get into wiring it to the communicator and the panel. Okay, so we're going to begin wiring to the communicator. Uh, we did run our wire through the back plate, uh, so that way we'll be able to close the cover later on. Um, and uh, just a reminder, we're using uh, 22 four wire, 22 gauge uh, four conductor wire. Uh, we're starting with the red wire here for positive power, and that goes to uh, terminal three on the communicator. So we're just going to tighten that down, get that nice and secure. And as you can see, the first two uh, terminals are actually removed from the communicator. Um, so we're, we're starting at the first one over here. Now we're doing a uh, terminal four for the black wire. And that's for uh, the ground connection, also known as negative power. And so, li like I said, we're using 22 four wire. 18-gauge um, wire also works well. If you have other wire um, laying around, then that should work fine as well. Uh, so the yellow, or in our case, the white wire, it goes to terminal 5 on the communicator. Um, and really, color is not super important just as long as everything matches at the communicator and the panel. So just be very careful that your connections match. Um, it is recommended that you follow the color guidelines just to keep things organized. But um, feel free to set up how you want as long as the colors match. 
We're doing our last connection here. We got the green wire going to terminal six. So just tighten that down. Okay, and give it a quick tug. Looks good. And that's how you wire at the communicator. Okay, so now that we've wired at the communicator, we're going to wire at the panel. Um, and I do want to point out that our power is off. Uh, we've disconnected the backup battery and unplugged the transformer. In our case, we had a Honeywell LT cable, so we just did the barrel connection there. But our panel is completely powered down, and make sure you do that before wiring any hardware to your panel. Uh, so we're going to start with the red wire here. Um, I'm just going to take it into, uh, this is terminal 6. So there we go. We're going to loosen it up. And we got the black wire at terminal 7. We got the green wire at terminal 8. And the white wire, or the yellow wire, in our case white, at terminal 9 on the panel. So now that we have our Honeywell 7847i uh, connected with our Vista 128 BBT, we can go ahead and power on the panel. Like I said, um, we had um, a Honeywell LT cable. Um, we just disconnected the barrel connection, and we disconnected the backup battery. We're just going to power it back on, like so. And you can see that our keypad is light up, um, indicating that the panel is receiving power. And also, more importantly in our case, the communicator um, has lit up, indicating that it is also receiving power. It's getting all the power from the panel. Remember to always power down your panel before installing any hardware with your Vista security system, or any security system for that matter. Now, um, a few things I do want to just kind of leave you with before we wrap this video up. Um, so the Honeywell 7847i it uh, uses a hardwired Ethernet connection for network connectivity. So you would run uh, an Ethernet cable through the backplate, and you kind of bend it at an awkward angle uh, to get it into the Ethernet um, port right here. The, um, it, it says Ethernet at the bottom there, so that way you won't forget that it is um, the, the Ethernet port. Um, but if, if you don't want to run an, an Ethernet cable from your router to your 7847i, uh, you can use what's called an Ethernet to Wi-Fi bridge. Um, to convert it into a wireless Wi-Fi connection. And uh, the module we recommend for that is the ADCW110. Um, it's a really great um, Ethernet to Wi-Fi bridge. Um, it, it was designed for Alarm.com cameras, but it works very nicely with the Honeywell 7847i as well. So that's a great option if you don't want to run an Ethernet wire all the way from your router to your panel. You'll still have to do an Ethernet connection between the 7847i and the Ethernet to Wi-Fi bridge but it can give you a lot more flexible installation options. And one last thing I want to leave you with, um, when you go to activate the communicator for monitoring service, um, you will need to provide the MAC and MAC CRC codes um, from the communicator to your monitoring provider. Uh, so we recommend uh, just taking a, a picture of the, the sticker on the module and then storing it in a safe place, or maybe just write down the module, um, so that uh, write down the, the codes, so that way you won't need to uh, open up the module whenever you want to access the Mac and Mac CRC, because you will need that when you go to activate for monitoring service. So that's how you install a Honeywell 7847i to a Vista Turbo Series panel. Um, if you have any questions about the Vista 128 BBT, Vista 250 BBT, or about alarm monitoring in general, if you have any questions about the 7847i, uh, send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below to like the video. And remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.